I'm Mrs. Dixie, and I'm going to read a story with you today. This story is called Everyone Can Learn to Ride a Bike by Chris Rashley. And Chris also illustrated, that means drew the pictures for this story. It was published by Schwartz and Wade Books, New York. All right, so there's a couple of words we need to talk about before we read the story. The first word is courage. Courage means to be brave or to not have fear or to do something even when you're afraid. Okay, so can you say courage? Can you say to be brave? Can you say to not have fear or try something even when you are afraid? That was a mouthful. Good job. All right. Our next word is grace. Grace means to move smoothly. So someone that's graceful is very smooth in their movements. Think of a ballerina. Ballerinas are supposed to be graceful. And our last word is... Mm -hmm. Determination. What do you think determination means? That's a big word. Determination means to keep trying even when you fail. So, or to keep trying until you succeed. So, can you say determination? Can you say to keep trying until you succeed? Awesome. That one's another big one. All right. So our words are courage, grace, and determination. And when you see those words, I want, or when you hear those words, I want you to clap. Okay. All right. And grace means to move smoothly. Can you say grace? Can you say to move smoothly? All right, I think we've covered all our words. Everyone can learn to ride a bicycle. The inside says, want to learn to ride a bike? Come on, give it a try. Here's an inspiring and utterly simple picture book uh, by two-time Caldecott medalist Chris Rashka. Rashka about mastering this exciting new skill. All right. Everyone can learn to ride a bike. Want to learn how to ride a bike? First, you need to choose perfect bike for you. Let's go. All right, so once you have the perfect bike, you're ready to go. Watch everyone ride. They all learn how. There was a point when, no, when nobody knew how to ride bikes, but they worked on it. Come on, let's give it a try. Training wheels are helpful. They keep you from tipping over. Okay. Here are the training wheels. If we raise them up a smidge, you'll begin to feel your balance. All right, so when you move the training wheels up a little bit, the bike can wobble, but you can get your balance and get used to riding with less focus on the training wheels. You'll begin to feel your balance. Now we take them off. That's a bit scary, but try it. Right. 
and the grass. Too hard to pedal. Maybe down a small hill? Oh dear. She fell down when she went down a small hill. Oh, hold on. You gotta wait. Pump your legs. All right, so the, the person helping her holds on and tells her to pump her legs. Oops, you nearly had it. You almost did it without help. Don't give up. You'll get it. Find the courage. Courage to be brave and to not fear. To try it again. And 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 again until... By luck, grace, smooth movement, and determination, keep trying, even when you keep trying until you succeed, you are riding. By luck, grace, and determination, you are riding a bicycle. And now, you'll never forget how. Once you learn to ride a bicycle, it's really easy to remember it. It's just learning it that takes a long time. All right. So, let's talk about our words again. We saw that word courage. Why did she need courage? I think she needed courage because she kept falling down. She needed to be brave, even though she was afraid of falling down. She needed to practice not being afraid and accept it. What about grace? Do you think she was graceful? Do you think she moved smoothly when she first rode the bike? No, grace is something that comes with practice. So as she got better, she got more graceful and got better at balance and everything. Right. And what about determination? How did she need to use determination? Well, she had to keep going even when she fell until she stopped falling. So those were our three words. And that's everyone can learn to ride a bicycle. Have you learned to ride a bike yet? What do you, do you think about the story if you know how to ride a bike? What about those of you that don't know how to ride a bike? Do you think you can learn? I think everyone can learn to ride a bicycle. It just takes practice and work and courage. So... Thanks for reading Everyone Can Learn to Ride a Bicycle with Me today by Chris, Chris Roshka. Chris Roshka. Thanks for reading Everyone Can Learn to Ride a Bicycle with Me by Chris Roshka. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.